In this video, we're going to show you how to adjust the tooth belts on one of our mulchers or stone crushers. Make sure you consult your operator's manual to review the frequency of service and the alignment instructions. Okay, let's get started. Position the machine on its stands, then set two pieces of plywood underneath the belt covers to keep the rotor suspended from the ground. Make sure you check for clearance. Remove all the covers around the belt and the extension housing. This is where the actual adjustment is being done to access the drivetrain. Clean the covers with an air gun to ensure the belt compartment is clean before we get started. Inspect the position of the belt on the top pulley. If it's shifted to the outside or to the inside, it'll need to be adjusted. If the belt is centered on the pulley, no adjustment will need to be made. Now check the tension of the belt by using a tensiometer or an application from a smartphone. In this case, we're using DaTuner for Android smartphones. The tension is written on a decal that can be found on the inside of the machine or in the operator's manual. Use the handle of a screwdriver and hit the belt approximately in the center. And right after hitting, hold the tensiometer or the smartphone with its microphone very close to the belt. To get an accurate value, the measurement will have to be repeated. The target is to make the extension shaft parallel to the rotor shaft and at the same time keep the required tension. In case the adjustment needs to be made, use the following steps. Release the bolts on the side flange only in the case the belt must be tensioned as well. Otherwise, release just the two bolts on the rear side of the extension housing where the angle adjustment bolt is positioned. Release bolts only so much that the spring washer slightly releases pressure and allows the support plate to slide up or down. If the alignment is far off, do a rough first adjustment with a straight edge. We'll fine tune later. Make sure all four points on the pulleys have contact with the straight edge. Tighten the adjustment bolt with the counter nut and start the machine to see where the belt shifts to. Just a word of warning here, operators, please pay attention and stay clear of the machine when engaging the PTO shaft with the protection covers removed. Now give the machine about a minute to see how the belt moves and make sure you watch that belt closely. If you see movement in the belt, stop the machine and wait for the full stop of all the rotating components. Okay, now we can get to the fine tuning. If the belt shifted towards the outside of the machine, the adjustment bolt will have to be turned in to change the angle of the extension shaft. If the belt shifts towards the center of the machine, the adjustment bolt needs to be released, but be sure to have the counter nut tight. If the belt looks like it's already pushing against the pulley, or even after the adjustment it didn't shift at all, keep changing the setting of the adjustment bolt. Note that an eighth of a turn on the adjustment bolt will make quite a difference. Keep repeating the procedure until the belt is perfectly centered on that pulley or as close as possible so there is the least amount of pressure between the ring and the belt. Before closing the covers on the machine, tighten all the bolts that are related to the adjustment. Then start up the machine one more time and check to see if that setting remained. If you don't see any more movement, your belt is aligned. Now is a good time to do remaining maintenance like greasing before we close the covers. Have fun working with your CEPI-M machine.